Hey gang, Jason here for the Love of Tractors. Thanks for joining me for these unbo unboxing videos. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. I've got a lot of great feedback. Uh, we've talked a lot of great tractors. And uh, just in general, it's been a lot of fun to kind of go back and look at my collection a little bit piece by piece. Uh, and you know, we've got a few more of these videos to go, but today we're going to get into combines, it looks like. So uh, pretty excited for that because I've unboxed very few combines so far. So here we are. And real quick, uh, check out www.fortheloveoftractors.com. We've got uh, custom toys, we've got parts, we've got items for your display, we've got t-shirts, we've got some new in the box stuff. So I uh, just would really appreciate it if you'd head on over there. It just kind of supports what I'm doing. Um, uh, it kind of helps me follow my dream uh, of making toys what I do. So uh, I don't know. Some people think that's an absolutely crazy dream. Sometimes I think that's an absolutely crazy dream. But uh, I think your dreams are worth pursuing. So anyway, thanks guys. So I'm going to go as quickly as I can through these three because generally these videos have been around 12 to 13 minutes long. Well, I've got three box. Excuse me. I've got three. Hmm, got three boxes to cover here. So <laughs> we better get started. Like I said, we're going to do a lot of combines here. So here is a 9600 series John Deere combine. Boy, that is dusty. This is custom. All more farm toy parts. Uh, just all over the place. Ladder, rail, mirrors, uh, new auger. Boy, that auger is stiff. I'll have to, I'll have to kind of unstiffen that. Uh, hopper extension. Standy duels. Rear end. Rear end steers. I mean, it's uh, this, is a, this was a fun combine. Did that years and years ago. Um... But boy, was it fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, okay, here's another one. I got some flack for this combine over the years. Because I did rear duels on it. Now, they don't do rear duels on combines typically. But you know what? It, it's, it's fun. You, you just got, sometimes you got to let your imagination run wild. And that's kind of what I did here. Uh, feeder house moves up and down. Uh, got the longer auger on there. Uh, rails. You know, you name it. Flashers. All that sort of thing. Just, uh, again... Just, just kind of having fun with it. <laughs> like I said, I, I know they never put rear duels on a combine, but uh, you know what? Sometimes you just got to go for it. <laughs> I thought it was fun, and it was. Um, all right. Now let's step away from combines just for a second here. Uh, old school Ertl. Uh, let's see. That is a Chevy. Uh, extended cab, dually long bed. So that's a heck of a pickup truck. It'd be kind of a fun custom, I think. I might, might do something with that down the road. Speaking of customs, so I made myself a little custom fertilizer uh, outfit, I guess is what you'd call that. So uh, it's got got some different uh, floater tires on it. The front tires are just stock. Uh, this is a new leader bed. I made steps around the side. I made some rails out of brass. Just trying to detail it up a little bit. Just a fun little custom. Nothing too fancy, but uh, you know what? At the time, it looked great on my display. So here... Is a uh, Alice Chalmer trailer. Uh, I don't know. I think I bought. I think this is custom. I don't know. I bought it off uh, eBay, and I'm sure it's custom. But uh, it's cool. Had to have it. Kind of want a Massey Ferguson one too. Maybe I'll make one. Uh, and here's the truck that goes with it. So there you go. Anyway, I, I just I just always thought that was a fun little setup. How about a crab steer traction king case? That was kind of weird. I was all excited and I just sort of trailed off and got quiet. That was weird. Uh, custom Agco Challenger. Just lights, rails. You know, just a, your your sort of typical custom items here. Nothing too fancy on that thing, but neat looking tractor. Those those uh, those Challenger four wheel drives are cool. Aha! This is a authentic 450. It's got some custom tires on there. Real uh, rear wheel weights and uh, just some in general. Fun. Got a header here, and I'll show you the combine that goes to. Oh, no, I won't. It's not in this box. <laughs> Here's a, speaking of custom pickup trucks, uh, this is an early attempt at me making a custom pickup truck. Uh, I scratch built the toolbox down the side. I scratch built some, uh, what, do you, what the heck, why am I bed, why, why am I blank on what those are called right now? Running boards. Oh, my gosh. Running boards. Woo. Whew, been a long week. <laughs> uh, here's another just attempt at a custom. This is a Ram. Did a little antenna on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe. There it is. Uh, toolbox, fuel fuel, uh, fuel tank, and then some just general kind of clutter to make it look like it's used. 
80-20 John Deere. Ooh, almost dropped that. No custom work there. Oh, here, this is a needs custom work. Couldn't put that over there. Here is the first ever attempt I made at doing a Tinder trailer. And uh, it's it's uh, it needs some uh, reconstruction because my tie downs came off. But uh, anyway, that's a standy trailer. Those are really neat. Triaxle tri duels uh, all around. And then just using uh, whatever parts I could get my hands on, I guess, to make that uh, look good. All right, last combine in this box, anyway. 9610 Maximizer. We ran a 9610 forever. Eight row head. So obviously that's custom. It's got all the Moore's accoutrements on it. Uh, just looks really nice, I think. I really like it anyway. Hope you guys do. All right. Box two of the day. All right, we got several more combines to go here. Look at this. We're getting into the red now. We're seeing red. Case IH 2388. And uh, those are those are custom handrails. Custom built ladder. I mean, scratch built. So all that's scratch built. Uh, that's not a kit, I don't believe. So uh, anyway, kind of fun. Neat looking combine, I think. All right, how about on the complete opposite end of the spectrum? How about a John Deere planter? Went from harvest to planting just like that. That's a spec cast, obviously. Nice planter. Really, really nice work on those spec cast did. Here is a dusty custom uh, 380 MX tractor. Here is the combine that header I was talking about went on. So check this out, 7720 John Deere. Just a nice looking combine. Nerdle did a great job on these. And then of course I added handrails and lights and flashers and all that good stuff, just to sort of take it to that next level that I think it deserves, to be honest with you. It's a great, great looking combine. Ertl John Deere service truck. Custom Ertl John Deere service truck. Got the, uh, got the toolbox. Got an exhaust, homemade little push bar there on the front. There you go, you can kind of see that. It's kind of fun. Another Ertl truck's got toolbox and stuff in the back. Nothing, nothing too fancy there. Let's see. Got a utility tractor. I think that's a 6420 if I remember correctly. I can't read it, don't have my glasses, but I'm pretty sure it is. Here is an S. 680 track combine. I ought to sell this sucker. I got no use for this thing at this point in my life. I ought to get rid of it. I think I will. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice combine. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I just don't, I don't know, just don't need it. Now, here is the 690 authentic combine. They did a really nice job on this. Now, this is an aftermarket uh, tip top on that thing, a bin extension. And uh, but boy, these are nice combines. They, Ertl did a really good job on these, I think. Uh, you know, everything pulls out. Ladder pulls out. Just a just a really nice piece. I had to do a review on that. I don't think I've ever reviewed one of those, and I ought to. It's worth it. It's uh, It deserves it, for sure. Okay. Another Ertl service truck. Might be time to look into getting rid of a few of those. And here we've got another Ram... This has a custom built tool bed in it, or toolbox in it. And uh, again, more, more clutter just to kind of make it look used for, for Dogtown, or at least on old Dogtown. We'll see. I think that's probably going to make it to new Dogtown, but we'll see. Last box, guys. We're on nine minutes. We're doing good. I was afraid I was going to be up around 12 or 13 minutes already, but uh, I think we can get you out of here within 15 minutes because I know y'all got things to do, and I appreciate you stopping by and. Uh, watching watching this video so all right check this out Ertl sprayer these are cool I mean these are these are really nice I think anyway I'm I, I really like them probably gonna use one of those on Dogtown I imagine don't really have any other plans for a sprayer anyway then uh, authentic number one and boy, oh boy, did this this just kind of rock the toy world when they brought this out. This is a great tractor. Um, I, I don't know. One of the best authentics for sure. Top two or three uh, 
and I, and if you told me it was the it was the best, I wouldn't argue. And if your cab, you guys remember when Ertl started bringing these tractors out? It was huge, it was a huge deal when they started bringing those out. Um, everybody was excited. Here's one I weathered up, kind of neat. You know, I'd probably do a better job today, but dang it, I think that's cool. I like it. That's gonna be on Dogtown. I got plans for that. But I did that years ago. Same thing, weathered that up just years ago. Just a neat little little custom there. Same thing with this one. I was in a weathering mood apparently. This one didn't do such a good job on, to be honest with you. It's probably one of the first ones I did. So uh I'll cut myself a little slack on that. How about an Oliver? 1950T, that's sweet. That's cool. Here, custom 4020, custom duels, three-point hitch. Got all the your levers, little radio there on the side. That's a fun, fun little custom. Here's an authentic. No, it's not. <laughs> I almost said it is. I think this is a 4440. Um, anyway, I remember when Ertl brought these out. That was a big deal, too. It was definitely a step up. Uh, in in uh, detail when Ertl brought those out. Nice little blade. All right, here is a uh, that's a toy farmer tractor, I think. Nope, National Farm Toy Show, I believe 2016, I believe. So there you go. Neat little tractor. Three point hitch came off something. How about this? This big old husky. Uh, manure thing <laughs> this is neat really nicely detailed uh, I remember these sold like hotcakes when they came out and they were hard to get I don't know about now but uh, man when those first came out they went quick here's an authentic customized saddle tanks those are my first 3d printed saddle tanks it turned out okay they're not perfect but they look pretty okay all right check out speaking of tanks tank city here on this uh that's John Deere four-wheel drive, dueled up. Spaced out quite a bit. I must have had a specific purpose for that, but I'll be darned if I remember it now. More tanks. I thought this was kind of neat. I saw a setup similar to this one time, uh, just out in the middle of nowhere in Missouri. And so uh, I had to come back and make a real one, or you know, make a toy of the real one, I guess. Uh, it's a little silly, but it, it, there is a real one just like that somewhere in Missouri. 8400T with a homemade blade and some rails and things like that. Not a particularly well done custom to today's standards, but at the time, I liked it. All right, weight bracket on this guy with a three point back there, front wheel assist, Ooh, front wheel assist on there. Just a, we'd call that a light custom day. You know, I had to take a few of these and uh, do them some justice. I, I think I will too, one of these days when I get some free time. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. How about an 84T widened out to uh, a more appropriate spacing for what we would do around here? Three-point hitch, rails, all that sort of thing. So, uh, anyway, lots of fun, I think. And then, uh, I guess last and not least, the last one we're going to unbox for right now anyway. How about a John Deere 9400? This was such a huge deal when this tractor came out. The triples, it was, it looked good. Um... It was a huge step up from when, when uh, as far as collectors were concerned from Ertl. I had like the hydraulics back here, stuff like that. Now I've added the three-point hitch, I've added the rails, I've added the flashers, I've obviously added the saddle tanks. But uh, when these 9400s came out, man, they were a big deal. So anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. That's all the boxes I have for right now. I've got I've got a few more to bring over to bring to bring to the new house. But uh, for right this second. <laughs> that's gonna do it so i'll get these organized i'll probably do that live because uh, you guys seem to enjoy that i enjoyed talking to you guys while i was organizing my collection so uh, i'll probably do that live sometime uh in the not too distant future i will do i will get back to reviews we've got tons of Dogtown stuff going and uh, i just appreciate you spending time with me here um <laughs> it's just it's fun like i i uh <laughs> i don't know how to i don't know how to put it like uh, it, it's it's uh, connected me with a lot of really great people and this has been just a ton of fun doing this this channel and so I'm just gonna keep cranking them out guys so thank you guys 
uh, for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I know times are really tricky for a lot of people right now. Uh, I, I hope you're you're doing okay, and uh, I hope in some way these videos kind of, I don't know, just help get you through a little bit. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, have yourselves a great, great day. Treat each other well, and happy tractor hunting.